So here we are. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody. So this is the GSOC office hour uh, for today, uh, June, no, uh, yeah, June 8th. We're now in the middle of uh, the, um, well, the, the first third of the coding period. Uh, we have all projects represented. Only one contributor uh, is uh, missing. Ashutosh uh, couldn't make it on time uh, to attend the meeting. I've seen the message, uh, Bruno. So I take my lists so that we always use the same order. So as usual, um, we're going to ask what happened and I'll be a little bit more specific and a little bit more open uh, or less formal. And the question will be, what did you learn this week? Which is an introduction to what happened. Okay, so first on the row is uh, Jack Ruti with a plugin help score. What did you learn? So I'm working on third party package detection probe this week. Uh, so I learned new thing about parameterized uh, test cases, like uh, when we should use parameterized test cases and when we shouldn't. I did make some mistakes, but thanks to Aiden, I was able to come out fast. So I think this probe is progressing like a little better from the previous one where it was stuck a lot. That's it. And I'm, uh, I'm writing a new test case that is to check the if the third party package is present in the child or the parent. So that is something new. I'm like learning. I'm learning about Maven. I'm learning about home inheritance, home structure. That's okay. And what did you learn? Par parameterized uh, testing, right? Test this cases I, and and yes, learning more about Maven. And before okay. that, I learned about Shake It in my previous school. Okay, so learning quite a lot of things, new things. Yes. Which is a Especially purpose? Especially I'm which... learning, I'm learning, major thing I'm learning is writing test cases in every book, like unit test cases, what kind of scenarios to test, how to figure out the scenarios that, okay, I have to test this, I have to test that. Sort of okay. Thing. Good. Adrian, do you want to add something? No, I think Jagoti uh, summarized well. Uh... So yeah, uh, might not be interesting for everyone to to uh, to see that Jagoti is learning about tests, but it's because I ask uh, a lot of tests uh, on new probes. So uh, she's uh, um, learning new uh, more than a skill is more a behavior about uh, how to implement things. So that that's uh, coming together really well. And uh, because this week uh, and the week before, this week we worked uh, on something that is related to Maven. Ask Jagoti to learn a bit more about Maven, about its behavior, about how it's uh, working already. And um, so she, I, I, I hope that she's learning a bit about that as well. And uh, everything's coming uh, together very well. Obviously, but, she's learning yeah. and enjoying it when I see the smile. OK, good. Next one that has also a, a, a smile, Vandit. So uh, who's going to talk to us about the Jenkins IO with alternative tools. So uh, what did you learn? What happened? Yeah, uh, I, I learned about uh, regular, regular expressions and their role in scripting because uh, uh, like I, I, learned that I learned it in theory at my college this semester and I implemented them in some scripts. Uh, but yeah, my... my what I exactly wanted to do with my script, uh, wanted my scripts to do, well, they didn't exactly do that. But yeah, we were we were uh, we were sixty seventy percent to uh, to uh, to the goal. So uh, I wrote some scripts and I ported I ported the developer documentation uh, on Antora. Okay, so you're you're moving ahead. And regular exceptions. Now you start to know the 
start to have practical I, I wanted to say now you know that you don't know nothing yeah so this is the first important step of being wise yeah, you okay never finish learning with regex well, i've been I, doing regex for 25 years and this week i've been struggling like mad with the regex i can't get right so yeah do you know regex 101 uh, the online yeah. tool for app? i'm so using that yeah that's a very handy do you do you know that vandit that site uh no uh, i will check that out uh, okay. I, I I just referenced my uh, notes I made in college and I was like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> okay, so you're learning it the, the hard way. So regex101.com or I don't know, is a very neat uh, a tool .com. to explain you uh, the structure of the reg apps you're doing and uh, I'll definitely shows you up. also. The, yeah, okay, good. But just a tip. And I, I also enjoy regex, so they're very powerful. When they work. Yeah, when and they yeah, work. Always they work. work. It's, it's like taming an animal. So I love coding it. When, it, when it does what I want it to do. <laughs> OK. Chris, do you want to add something to Vandit's report? Um, I think the progress is good, and uh, except um, I am not sure at what stage the, the project is in, since like um, we're not doing PRs yet. So we we we'll move to that direction like, later. I think we need to. Okay, this is an important uh, tool or technique that's used in open source that that shows where you are, what you're working, what you what you change. Uh, not all the projects are using that technique yet. I think Jack Kruti is using PRs to show. To, uh, Adrian is very, uh, very strict on on that. There, Bandit is starting. Go ahead. I make draft PRs. I make draft PRs first. Yeah. In the beginning itself, as soon as I start coding. Okay, but there's a discussion you need to have at project level. It's, it increases uh, the visibility and uh, of, of the project. Very good. Yeah, okay. And so, yes. Sorry, once again, uh, it's none of my business, but uh, yes, PR are very important and it's not a problem if they are, depends on the project, but it's not a problem if they are draft PR with still uh, failures. Uh, this can also be seen as a discussion, you know, to see with the mentors if your PR is going the right way or if you should change it or um, a Mark Wade that you may know is um, somebody who I respect a lot and his work is really um, good to me but you know the other day I saw a PR of his regarding um, uh, depreciation of old containers and operating system for Jenkins and it took him more than 100 commits to get it right. So don't be afraid to make draft PRs which are not finished so the mentors can see uh, where you are going to and give you some feedback even if you did not request a review yet. Very, right very sense. good advice. Yeah, I'll start, no, no, I'll very, start very doing good. PRs. I, I'm, yeah. just, I'm, I'm pushing to the main branch right now because like I just test that too often and I just push it to them and I'll start making PRs. This is this is uh, learn it, learn it. You're you're not used to do it that way when you work on your own as at college. At college, you you're not trained. So this is why we also insisting to start using that because this is the way, the way of the open source. I'm going to put my helmet on. This is the yeah, way. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, very good, Vandit. Uh, the next one is. Uh, Ashutosh, who is not in. Bruno, can you give yeah. an update where we're standing? Uh, standing is the right word. <laughs> we're not progressing that much, I'm afraid. I hadn't realized that the first step was so high, so difficult to climb. The thing is, when you want to make things simple for the end user, um, there is a lot of work ahead to make things complicated look simple so ashutosh is struggling with getting the first example up and running 
but he's progressing uh, slowly and as maybe all the uh, contributors um, he has to learn about good practices with PRs, issues communication uh, everything I know there are lots of things to lot of things to to learn so it's difficult the first week must be a torture <laughs> but uh time will come when you will uh, smile again and look at what he has accomplished and be proud of the journey but for the time being yes the progress is kind of slow but i have hope next week <laughs> we'll uh, find the second gear and go faster hopefully Let's not let's make sure that Hashutosh doesn't get discouraged. Yeah, I hope the tone I use is right and not discouraging him. That's okay. Not well, point. we're we're going to take that uh, uh, offline or later. Yeah. Good. Thank you. And as he's not in, we're not going to spend too much time on that. The last one is uh, harsh. Wait, uh, uh, Harsh is there. Yeah. We, why did you move? Oh, Rajiv joined. Oh, that's a hi, Rajiv. Uh, because yeah, oh, <laughs> everything moved on my screen. It didn't find Harsh again. So, Harsh, your side, you're smiling too. So, that means to, that you learned something this week. Share with us. Like, uh, I did a lot of things. Like, uh, the draft PR which I made regarding the first milestone, I added the Docker-based functional tests for that. Even when it was the like um, a stretch goal for the project, I still added the thing which was necessary for it. And I am waiting for the review from Chris that the tests are right. At least the tests are building fine, that the, the milestone is working perfectly. I have made the draft PR and I'll soon make a normal PR for Basil to review it. Like currently Chris will be reviewing it. Other than this, I also had to uh, make a snapshot of GitLab for J library that I was using. So I already added some changes to the library itself so that it uh, so that we could use it in our project. But what was happening is it is not released yet. So we'll have you know, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a snapshot and in deploy and deploy it in the Jenkins artifactory and now we are in a mess because like um, I again changes uh, I again did some changes to it because it was not supporting my M1 chip like I use a uh, MacBook so it was not supporting that so I, I again did some changes and now again it is failing so I have to I think I and Chris are working towards writing the test cases for the library things are quite difficult there and the GitLab instance that I use is so damn slow like I have to wait a lot like 30 minutes for for it to just start and then it, it gives me a lot of 502 errors and I just have to struggle a lot for that. Other than that, GitLab also released its new breaking changes, GitLab 16, which I also have to work upon. And You're having far sorted. too much fun, Arsh. You have far yeah, too I'm, much. I'm, I'm too having much. a lot of fun. Like Chris is really helping me a lot. Otherwise, I would, I would have been a dead meat by this. But yeah, like regarding the project, it is fine like i have almost completed the first milestone like uh, i have migrated all the com uh, all the resource calls from rest easy to gitlab or j other than this i'll be uh, uh, what the next milestone will be the webhook thing and the third milestone will be the proxy almost you can say one third is almost completed but i'll have to wait for the review that Basil has to do. I already made the PR, but it was something wrong. Like you just said that draft PRs are important. I This is my second draft PR. My, my first draft PR failed because I broke the backward compatibility. Now this time I have the backward compatibility correct. So yeah, long journey, Great. but yeah, fun. Yeah, okay. I see that where well, you have tough times, but you're progressing, so that's good. Chris, do you want to add something to Harsh's report? Mm, I just want to say good work, except like we run into a lot of technical issues that are outside of our control. So it's like, it's, I think it's just life. Okay. Good. Talking about making progress, um, we're moving ahead in uh, GSOC. I don't want to scare uh, uh, you guys and girls. Uh, we have a milestone mid-July, and so I'm going to tell you I need to validate that with the other org admins, but uh, part of the midterm evaluation 
is a presentation to the community of uh, where you're standing that you could demo, demonstrate, explain what your project uh, is about. And uh, we're currently looking, I need to confirm this, especially with Alyssa, who is our grandmaster of meetups. Uh, so we're looking at organizing that presentation the week before the evaluation. So we would do it at this time uh, on Thursday, July 6th. I'm going to send a mail to everybody or notify that so that you have the date in written. If somebody has um, uh, an issue about that or, or so, uh, let me know, let us know. I've seen a message from Jakruti, uh, a relief. Oh, okay. No, I see it was related to previous discussion. Okay, so if I'm not following the chat, so please excuse me. Uh, if something is important in the flow of the discussion, please raise your hand and uh, share that. Uh, yeah, do, uh, because I think that on July 6th, I will be out. Um, okay. Is that, is that a problem or should I find a solution to be able to attend? Uh, I'm looking at Jakruti. How scared are you to do the no, presentation? No, 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 no. Please don't don't put more pressure on Jakruti. Um, <laughs> no. the, the presentation will be prepared in advance. I will be working with her for that uh, before. Uh, okay. It's just for the presentation. Um, I don't be... know about Diraj or Mustafa or Jake if they will be able to attend. Um, uh, but normally, if, yeah, uh, there it's some questions question. to be attended to, to be to, to be expected. Uh, should we expect some questions? Should we have uh, an um, oh. explanation about the progress of Jagoti or things like that? That things that Jagoti might not have uh, a way to answer. Uh, and, and now in this presentation, it is okay to say that you don't have the solution or the answer and yet you will look it up and come back. So this is perfectly okay. So, so Jagroti will be fine. Uh, and I, I can understand that you want to, to attend and to, to, to see the presentation. I don't think that it is required. Uh, so maybe we can discuss that uh, offline and especially yeah, if sure. you prepared it early enough uh, yeah. then we'll put we'll, we'll do that we, we and don't we'll forget do and don't forget nobody is going to kill you so you're not going I to do hope so. die <laughs> <laughs> harsh you want okay. to ask something yeah i have my end semester exam on 6th july so can i be faster like a week before it or something because i uh, have an exam uh, that's a good point um, hmm. Like my exam is from sixth July to twelfth, uh, like thirteenth. So yeah. Uh, oh, that's that's no, that's important. That is the most important thing. Uh, so that we do that. Could it be recorded? Be yeah. What? It could be recorded. We did that already. Um, Does anyone else have exam uh, during that uh, during that period, or things that would prevent you from preparing the the presentation? I'm thinking about two uh, at least two weeks ahead, or two weeks later, if you. No. And one one week earlier would be uh, June 29th. Uh, and this is this is getting near, so I want to give uh, enough time to um, harsh. How about recording your presentation? So we're talking here about uh, a 10, 10 minute presentation. presentation. Yes. Yeah, 
I can Would record, but I'll, yeah, I, I can record it. No problem from me, but I will try finishing up like um, till milestone two. I will try finishing up before the 28th or 29th. Like I'll try my best. It's, it's going a bit slower than I expected because of those random issues that I get into. But uh, yeah, if I am able to do it, then it should be fine. Um, here, Harsh, at this stage, can you discuss that with your mentors? Yeah. No and see, and uh, the mentors or yourself will come back to, to us as org admins and see what we can do uh, uh, for that. Okay. Yeah, I have a meeting tomorrow. I will discuss over there. Raise that and see what are the, the alternate. Uh, a recording is okay, as, uh, as Adrian pointed out. Uh, Vandit, are you okay? Yeah, I'm completely okay with that. I think I'll have my exams uh, in uh, around third week of June. Third week of June. Mm, why? Why shouldn't why? There will always be exams somewhere. Uh, the only person who will not have exams, I think, is Jakruti. Yes. <laughs> she has other types of exams. Is work to complete at uh, um, here. Discuss the proposal with your your uh, mentors. Go ahead, Adrian. I, I was thinking to, uh, third week of June. That lets two weeks to prepare the presentation. Uh, let, let's say one week, just to cool off after the exams. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not enough. Could we do the presentation then the week after? The second week of July, I think that will. The second week is uh, uh, July thirteenth. Yeah, I think so. Could, could, could it work for everyone? No, does it, do, uh, does it have to match the uh, milestone of? Well, like my uh, exam harsh... will be over on thirteenth. Well, yeah, and and yeah. he needs okay. to study. Yeah. Yeah, I need to study. Okay, yeah, but I'll manage that. That's my problem. Like, I'll manage. Don't worry about that. Here, discuss it with the the, the mentors, and I'll do a round. Uh, the other thing is, I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, all the men, uh, all the contributors, beginning of next week. So there, we can clarify. So if you have time to discuss it with your your mentors. Um, uh, before, otherwise, uh, we look to do it later. Alisa, we also need to look here. We'll discuss it afterwards. So I didn't expect. Why do they do exams at college? Why? Why? Do, why? <laughs> I am asking that from my college. <laughs> okay. Good. So uh, thank you for sharing the uh, the reports, sharing also your difficulties, uh, but also good progress. I see smiles, so that makes me happy. Uh, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one discussion beginning of next week. All the meetings are, are set. Uh, and uh, the presentation for... Uh, uh, to the midterm presentation to the community. There we need to navigate between uh, different dates, exams, and things like that. So we'll, we'll find a solution for that. Is there a subject that I didn't cover or is there something somebody would like to raise? No? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> we we then go. We're uh, on time. I wish you then all a nice rest of the day. A lot of fun solving problems. Harsh, I expect you to go with your machete and start solving all those those problems you have. Jakruti, continue to learn about... Uh, testing and the secrets 
and uh, of Maven and all these kind of things. So thank you everybody for joining this meeting, for sharing the, the updates and have a nice rest of the week and see you next week. Bye-bye everybody. Bye everyone. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Thank you everyone.